Fidelity Magellan Mutual Fund is legendary. Uh, it was run by Peter Lynch up until 1990, pro probably one of the greatest investors of all time. But they announced they're going into an ETF format. Now, I thought this was amazing because it's going to be an active, non-transparent format because, you know, that makes sense because they're actively managed. Uh, but like almost all funds, this Magellan Fund has notably underperformed the S&P 500 for many years. So I, I guess, Kim, is am I trying to stress too much? Does this th this is another sign of capitulation? Here's a very, very famous fund that's basically saying we're going to go to an ETF format, although we're going to try to keep doing it in the active, uh, non-transparent format. So we're not going to reveal exactly uh, what we have. Am I trying to make too much of this? I just think this is another one of those capitulation moments by the mutual fund industry into the moving into the ETF format. No, Bob, I would totally agree with you. This fund's been out there for 57 years, and it's definitely not the uh, fund that it was when Peter Lynch was running it. And, and like you said, it's underperformed its benchmarks. Uh, and it's probably most of the underperformance is from the 77 basis point fee that it, that it charges. Um, but I, I think, as, as Tim and Deborah have mentioned here, what's happening is, if they were to come out and say, hey, we're reconstituting this and we are now going to be a thematic innovation strategy, uh, not just growth, but we're focusing in on where the puck's going, on innovation, on, on, on great themes, then you could maybe say we're going to go ahead and give this thing a second, a second derivative life. But to just go ahead and change the wrapper and still have the same underlying kind of benchmark growth, less your cost, uh, does not really uh, does, doesn't really excite yeah. people and probably shouldn't excite people. I don't think it does. But Deborah, still, it is a sign. Active, non-transparent is having a moment here this year, and they are going to pull funds out of mutual funds and into the ETF format, even if it's essentially the same thing. There will be lower costs and there will be more tax efficiency. So to that extent, it's a it's a good story, isn't it? Or am I looking at this the wrong way? No, I think you're totally right. I think ETFs are more tax efficient than mutual funds, and they're less expensive to run than mutual funds. So there should be some real benefits for the investors. And clearly, if the fees are less, performance gets better.